Shalom and welcome to an episode of Lessons from a Kitchen. If you have children at home, I'm sure cookies are a favorite snack. But this is something that we do as an activity to uh, get the children involved, to work together. So it's not just an easy task, but it's also a fun thing to do. So when we do make cookies, uh, one of the easiest way to get it done is roll out the dough, use cookie cutters, and create your cookies. This reminds me of something that I've read in scripture. Reading from Psalm 139, 14 to 16. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous and how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. So there are certain unique shapes that you can make when you're making cookies. However, you will have multiples of that same cookie. That's not the way God has created us. God does not use a cookie cutter approach. He does not use a machine to create each one of us. He has wonderfully and marvelously handicraft each one of us. So when we look at our cookies, we know that you wouldn't probably be able to make out one from another. But the way that God creates us, as, it's, as it says in, in, in a version, he says that we are his workmanship, marvelously crafted. So these are some things that my children did yesterday. They worked together, found out different shapes, tried in their hand, and each of them are unique. Each of them have a unique pattern. That's the way God made each one of us. We, we are known as God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. So the next time, whenever you feel the need to compare yourself with somebody else, and you think you aren't like someone else, remember, God did not use a cookie cutter on you. God used a marvelously new mold. God used something special. He, he handicrafted you. Uh, especially, there was a special art that he used to make you and, and give you all of your qualities. So when you eat a cookie next time, thank God that you were made differently and uniquely with inherent value and worth. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you because we are your workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Thank you because you have chosen, handpicked each one of us for greater purposes. Thank you because you have uh, taken such art and skill to create each one of us. May we live up to that, that purpose. May we live up to your desire of each one of us. Thank you for handicrafting us in your womb. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.